All right, folks, I want to weigh in. I want to switch gears away from the war, for heaven's sakes, or at least partly away from the war. A recent editorial from a very conservative editorial page newspaper, I'm not going to name any names, is asking, quote, will Trump be indicted into office? Question mark. Now, this is their response to the recent spate of polls showing Mr. Trump leading in nearly all the toss-up states and defeating Joe Biden a year from now. All right. Then there's another headline that I will identify from the Washington Post, and it's entitled, Eight Columnists Discuss How in the World is Trump Winning? Question mark. Half of those columnists were conservatives. Just saying. But they, too, completely missed the point. All right. Trump is winning on the issues. Can I make that as clear as I possibly can? He is winning on high gas and grocery prices. He's winning on high interest rates on mortgages and credit cards. He's winning because Americans are sick of the socialist Green New Deal. They don't want to give up gasoline-powered cars, gas stoves, hot water heaters, dishwashers, wood-burning pizzas, just because a bunch of 30-something Ivy League bureaucrats tell them they can't have this kind of stuff. Trump is winning because from day one back in 2015, he warned about illegal immigration, job losses, falling real wages. Trump is winning because his tax cuts generated huge income gains for typical families and lower-income folks. Trump is winning because he took out Soleimani and bankrupted Iran, befriended Israel, changed Middle Eastern politics with the Abraham Accords. Trump is winning because he rang the warning bell on China and followed through with tough trade policies. Trump is winning because the non-white working class is deserting Democrats and moving into the Republican column as a result of all the issues just cited. Trump is winning because Democrats and rhino Republicans thought the election was going to be about legal problems. But in fact, most of the country see right through that as a two-tier justice system denying his free speech. A problem, by the way, they themselves fear they may encounter. Trump is winning because he wants parents to run the schools and cops to run the streets. Joe Biden's Democrats bet wrong big time on class warfare and attacking success, where, ironically, the wealthiest and best-educated voters now probably go more for Biden than Trump. And then Democrats bet completely wrong again on illegal immigration thinking that a pathway to voting citizenship for another 8 million illegals was a terrific idea. But it wasn't. It was a terrible idea. In fact, turns out, Hispanic voters have basically the same negative view on this as white voters. And meanwhile, African-American voters had Trump's record low unemployment rate and Trump's upward mobility opportunities, and they liked it. In Politico this weekend, Republican pollster Patrick Ruffini calls it the emerging working-class Republican majority. In the Wall Street Journal's book review section, a long article by John Judas and Roy Texera chronicled the Democratic disasters on open borders and illegal immigrants. Finally, there is such a populist revolt going on out there on these key issues that even voters under 30 years old are a Biden-Trump toss-up. Never thought I'd see that. You know what? Kind of reminds me of how young people came to love Ronald Reagan because of his decisive leadership and key policy successes. These are reasons Donald Trump is leading the pack right now. Now, polls are not votes. They're just snapshots of a point in time. The election's a year away. But I will say this. Right now, that's why Trump is winning. All right? And that is my riff.